What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the spring season of series number 12, I believe. Today, driving around in our McLaren P1 that we unlocked in the trial event in the last video. But today we're going to jump into one of the seasonal championships. So I think I'm going to knock out Mini Mayhem first um, because... I don't like cross country, so we're going to hope that that's easy enough to get knocked out. So this will get us the Aston Martin DBS SL from 2019. So our restrictions here are B-Class 700, and it has to be a Mini. So I've got two cars set up. They're actually the two in the um, little thumbnail there for the race. Um, but I've got tunes on them, so we'll jump into the race and or jump into the championship. And we'll see what races we've got. Okay, so we're going to start with circuit, circuit, circuit. Three circuits, gross. All right, our first race is going to be the Theo something, yeah. And we're jumping into the 2018 Mini X Raid. This is the John Wo Cooper Works X-Ray. So we'll see what this can do. Up on the screen now, you'll have a share code for the tune, the name of the tune, and name of the tuner. Um, so both of the tunes that we use today will be from Mr. Ugrundi. We've used him plenty of times on the channel. And I've always seemed to have success with that. So I do give you the name of the tune and name of the tuner just in case the share code does change um, from my... Uh, research, it seems like that can change anytime there's an update made to the tune. So if the tuner goes in and changes tire pressure or something small, it can change the share code. So um, just a heads up, if you can't find it from the share code, and sometimes you gotta bully the drive stars just like that, but if you can't find it from the share code, um, you can search on the tune or the name of the tune and or name of the tuner to find it for the specific car. So we're looking good. We're already up in the first. Did some, uh, you know, not some gentleman racing, but, you know, against these drive cars, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So uh, we've got three laps of this. Once we get past the finish line, I'll make sure that, you know, or I'll kind of go where we skip towards the end of the race so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do two more laps of this. So we can keep these videos as concise as possible. So I will see you guys as we cross the finish line on that third lap. Okay, we are approaching the finish line. I wanted to butt in here real quick and just say that I do appreciate everybody's support while I've been away. Um, for those of you that don't know, I just had a kid back in July and before that, I was recording every single week for these festival playlists, and then um, obviously life changes when you have a kid. And then on top of all that, I had some issues with my computer that I had to take care of, so everything's good now. I'm hoping to be back on a regular schedule of getting all of these festival playlist videos out in a timely manner. It may not be as quickly as they once were, but I hope to have them all out at least by the end of the weekend every week, so... But that's the first race down. We absolutely annihilated the Drivatars. As you can see, we got 20 points for that. These championship races are important that you do not have to come in first on every single race. It is a points-based system. So if I hit continue, this is the championship leaderboard. And this is the leaderboard that you have to be in first at or on after all three of the races. So you can see we have 20 points going into race number two. If we came in second, we would have 36 because second place gets 16. I hope that makes sense. We'll take a better look at it, though, after the second race. All right, race number two here on River Scramble. And we are jumping into the 2013 Mini X-Raid, all four racing countrymen. And the share code for the tune, along with the name of the tune and name of the tuner, which, again, as you Grundy, will be up on the screen now if you want to check it out. But we'll see how this thing can do, and then basically for that last race, we're just going to use whichever car worked out best for us. That guy is all kinds of sideways. Come on, let's go. So, 
uh, going back to my other point about I do appreciate everybody's support um, while I've been away. The channel hasn't lost a lot of subscribers. We haven't lost much of any since when I went away and stopped recording. Um, so I am deeply appreciative of that. Um, the kid, Mr. Jackson, is doing good. Um, he's just, you know, wearing us out. Um, one of the reasons I, I've had my computer fixed for about a month or so, but um, one of the reasons I didn't actually record um, sooner is because it's just tired and I didn't want to make, um, you know, content that wasn't a, a good quality. So I, uh, you know, wanted to make sure I was in the right headspace when I did get back to recording. So I feel like I am there now. We're kind of getting a rhythm going, a routine going. Um, every day is different with a baby though. So we're doing as much as we can to get on somewhat of a normal schedule. Um, just still trying to figure out what new normal is. But I, again, I do appreciate everybody's support. Um, and I am super excited to be back and recording and playing on Horizon 5 again, so. But, um, again, just to keep these videos short and concise, we are up in first, and we have two more laps, a well, lap and a half of this, so. I'll see you guys as we get to the finish line on that last lap. All right, around the final turn, we smoked them again. These you Grundy tunes, man. They work out for me. Again, some people have said they don't work out for them, and it may just be a difference in driving style, but I've never had an issue with a U Grundy tune, so. All right, so as you can see, we did get 20 more points. If I hit continue, we are up to 40 in total on the championship. So we are eight, eight points ahead of second place. So we have to maintain that. We can come in third or whatever. As long as we have more points after the next race, we'll still win the championship. So. We're going to jump into it. I think I'm going to jump back into the 2018 X-Raid. I feel like that one just felt better to me, but it's all personal, you know, um, preference. So I'm going to jump into that and I'll see you guys here in the last race. All right. So here we go. The Mulehay Town Scramble. Back in the 2018 X-Raid, as I said, and we'll see what this thing can do. I don't have any doubts that this isn't the better option. Um, that is something else to note. You do not have to use multiple vehicles uh, for these championships. I do so just to provide some extra content um, for you guys. Because um, what I have, you know, not everybody will have. So you may have this X-Trade, but not the older one um, that I used in the last race. So. You know, sometimes there's an advantage to just using what you have. Sometimes there's an advantage to actually buying something different. So, uh, but I much prefer this X-Raid. It just feels a lot better to me. But again, all personal preference. If you guys do find something that works out really well or good for you and you want to share it with others, there is a link down below in the description to the Bomb Gaming Discord server. Um, and there is a channel in there to post uh, festival playlist uh, tunes and cars and such like that. So definitely go check that out if you want to. Um, it's also a good way to get discovered um, if you are an aspiring tuner. Um, people can give you feedback on your tunes and such like that. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. Looks like we're going to be chasing down first place here on lap number two, and that's okay. If we come in second, we come in second. Again, you do not have to come in first on all three of these championship races. Um, so just keep that in mind. This one is more strictly a road race than it is a off-road race, it seems. There's a little pieces of dirt, but it's just dirt. It's not really cross-country here, so... This is where I guess one of the smaller Mini Coopers, like that guy's using there, would work out pretty well. And you could probably do the entire championship in those. I guess it may be. I think it was actually all dirt racing and not cross country, now that I think about it. But again, it's been a minute since I played Horizon 5, so a little rusty. Um, but um, yeah, they were definitely all dirt races. So you could have easily used that with a little... Uh, 
you know, rally tires and rally suspension and stuff like that would have worked out pretty well, I'd imagine. Definitely worked out pretty well here on the road bits, but just like that, we are going to get past them up at the first, even on the road bits. So, crushing it. We're going to drift around that corner a little bit. But we've got one more lap to go, so I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me do one more lap. See you guys as we get closer to the finish line on this final lap. Right, coming up to the finish line, got a little bit of a lead. Thing worked out pretty well. Especially once you get a handle of it, it's actually pretty easy and fun to drive, so. But that'll be another first place finish here in the Mini Mayhem Seasonal Championship. It'll get us 60 points in total, and that'll get us the victory. And that 2019 Aston Martin DBS Super Ligera. There we go. That is the Mini Mayhem Seasonal Championship here in the spring season of series number 12. And how you can unlock the e. Aston Martin DBS Super Ligera here pretty easily. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. And definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. Um, as I said, I'm going to be trying to get those out at least before the end of the weekends nowadays. Um, they may be quicker some weeks. They may be, you know, pushing Sunday on some other weeks. It just depends on whew, what all is going on. So I hope you guys uh, did enjoy. Like I said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we will catch you in the next video.